Welcome guys to yet another Romsky video. I'm just gonna keep this short and sweet. Okay, this is not gonna be a long video. This is gonna be a quick uh, closing to the Olympic season. That's it, it's over, it's done. It didn't go exactly as planned, but a lot of the plans did pan out, so that's great. Roughly, not quite, but roughly this time last year, we were like heading out into World Team Trophy soon, which was like the first competition post or, it's not even post, it's like in pandemic season. Everything was different this year. And the biggest difference was this year was the longest season I've ever had on like so many levels and so many firsts, so many firsts this year, like first experiences. I'm gonna go sit down. Okay, now we're, now we're Gucci. Okay, so where was I? Right, a very long season full of firsts. So this was the first time I had to go out and confirm a spot. This was the first time that's probably ever happened for Team Canada in a long time, where we had to confirm a spot for the Olympics. I mean, it was like new this year. This was the first Olympic season where it was kind of like a real Olympic season. So last Olympic season, let's rewind to 2018. Um, yes, I was training my butt off and trying the best that I can, but I wasn't quite Olympic level yet, okay? I wasn't quite there yet, and I knew that, even though I didn't want to believe it, I kind of knew that, but you know, we were trying to go for it. If it happened, it happened. If it didn't, well, it didn't. So I survived, made it, here we are today. But having this season was the first one where it was like, okay. Ugh. Oh. My allergies are starting to activate. April vibes, man. Crazy. Hate it every year. So kind of this whole season, based on how the Skate Canada um, protocol was written, I had to have a good season, right? So every competition I was thinking, this is an Olympic season, I gotta do good. It was very high pressure all season long. There wasn't really a huge downtime at any, at any point. So that's why that was different. Um, then it was the first time I was going to nationals where I was like, okay, you know, this is the Olympics. And I remember going into the long program thinking this is it, right? This boils down to this moment. We've trained for this. Here we go. And then a few weeks after, you have the Olympics, which is this huge thing. And then a few weeks after, there's Worlds, which is this huge thing, which I've never done Worlds before. Obviously, I've never done Olympics before. This whole season was just a lot of fresh stuff. And it was very long. Like, we've never gone past February in terms of, like, season length. Yes, last year we are going to World Team Trophy, but that wasn't even a real season. That was, like, completely backwards. Everything was really weird. That carries its own challenges. And all I can say, overall, I'm very proud of what I could accomplish. I want to say a massive thank you to everyone who supported me coming up to this. Um, the whole team, everyone's doing what they have to do. Everyone's trying their best to, you know, help me get to what I did this season. And so I just want to say massive thank you. Uh, massive thank you to all of you guys who are watching and supporting in the back. You know, it's been a tough season, but the support was like immense. Every single uh, one of you are just a um, huge help, huge help, especially after Olympics. That was a dip. That was a pretty big dip, but you know, we brought it back. We brought it back for Worlds. So I'm happy with how that turned out, which by the way, that was a crazy event by itself. <laughs> Let me explain. So going into Worlds, which this was a common question for a lot of people is why'd you go to your old short i did three shorts that weren't my favorite like in terms of execution in the past few months going leading into worlds so that would be nationals olympics team and olympics singles all of them didn't quite pan out the way i wanted to and so i felt like i wanted like a, a fresh start i wanted to go back to a program that felt fresh um i didn't want any like flashbacks going towards olympics like while I was skating, right? Because it's not the greatest memory in the world. So I went in with a different short for that reason. The biggest, I think, conquering factor was doing those quad styles. That was like the biggest thing for me and the biggest like negative impact on my confidence from Olympics. So big pat on the back. Short was better, not ideal, but better. And then right after the short, I'd say like 10 minutes after, I'm walking back to the dressing room and I'm thinking... Yo, I can't lift my leg. So I strained my like left hip flexor somehow, somewhere in that performance, I strained it. And I literally couldn't like lift my leg 
like, you know, drive my knee up. I couldn't do it. And I'm thinking, oh, this is not good because I have past experience with it. But uh, yeah. And the good thing was the competitions were spaced out. So it was Thursday, Saturday. So I had a day off in between. I went to practice the next day. I'm like, "Mm, can't lift my leg. So on the practice site on Friday, I did nothing. I did kind of like skated around a little bit. Um, No jumps. I did a couple double jumps here and there. But like, there's no way I was going to do triples and no way I was going to do quads. So I lucked out that I didn't have the schedule. There was day like back to back. I would have withdrawn. Like I literally couldn't lift my leg. And then come Saturday, I wake up in the morning. It still hurts a little. Okay. It's not completely perfect. Still hurts a little, but I went to practice. I did a few test jumps. I did some triples. I did like one of everything. It was a very efficient practice. I think I was on for like 15 or 20 minutes. Went on. Did a few jumps, tried one quad sow. I think this was the exact thing I did. I did a single axle, a triple sow, a triple toe, a triple flip, a triple loop, a triple axle, a quad sow, and a triple lutz. I think that was it. And I'm like, okay, it's good enough. Getting off. Got off the ice. Um, Very minimal practice. It would have probably helped my confidence a little bit if I could have skated more. But it didn't matter. You know, I, I, I was just happy that I could skate. It wasn't perfect like my hip, but it was better. By the time I started to compete, my hip was starting to loosen up a little more. And by the time I, I skated, I'm like, okay, this is good. And so the long program was much better, much, much better and a good moment. I was very happy with myself. It didn't really matter. Like at that point, I wasn't thinking about placement. I wasn't thinking about anything because I just skated the way I wanted to skate. And I finished the way I wanted to finish. That's all that mattered. It was a big step up for me. So... Thanks to everyone who was involved and thank you for everyone who helped me get there. And I was fortunate with the schedule. I got to say this time, if I didn't have that day off in between, I would have, there's no way I could have done anything. Like my, my, my hip and my body was not ready. So we locked out. I got the extra day to let my hip rest. But uh, yeah, I guess this was a positive experience, you know, a new injury experience and dealing with injury actively in competition is an interesting weekend. And now I'm just chilling out, you know. It's been a long season. I'm not skating this week. I'm going to start skating the week after. I'm going to skate a bit next week and then I'm going to go on. I'm going to go away for a vacation. Just relaxing a bit. On a side note, we hit 25,000 subscribers. So massive thank you guys for that. It's been a long journey. Like I said, we did together. We did together, guys. We did it. On that note, guys, not much to say. I got some other news on top of that. I started a Twitch channel, you know? I just decided to, you know, just try it out. Just have some fun with it. Join me guys on my gaming adventures when I'm bored. I don't have an official schedule right now, but the first official stream is gonna go live on Saturday, April 2nd at 5 p.m. Eastern. I don't even know if this video will come out by then. Hopefully it does. I really hope it does. Just so I can you know, get some traffic going. The link will be in the description, but it's pretty easy. It's twitch.tv slash romski with two Y's. Okay, note, there are two Y's. Reason being, one Y was taken, apparently. So, you know, I had to do something. Hopefully see you guys there. If not, I'll see you in the next YouTube video. We got a lot done this season, but I'm ready for more and new experiences. All right, guys, catch you in the next video.